Okay, the book. Published by Blacks. Featuring the art of Jelly Low by Les Doublewood. Lester Lim. It's a thick tome. Big. Much bigger than I thought it would be. When I first saw it on uh, Lester's, he, uh, Lester's Instagram. So I'll do a general flip through and uh, do a little bit of commentary and introduction. This book is available at Black's for the duration of the exhibition, the solo art show by Lester Lim, uh, opening to the general public this Saturday, July 16th. July 16th. Okay, so this is not so much. This could be a spoiler if you want to call it. I'll leave that to you. So I'll generally flip through. Credits published by Black's Action City, which is cool because uh, beyond just a display space, they are now doing publications of art books. So this is a very cool uh, community we're looking at. Uh, forward by two persons. One is Simone Legno from Tokidoki and yours truly. Uh, something I'm very proud about myself. So something I'm very proud about and, and I'm honoured that I was asked to do a forward for this book as well. And I realised I spoke too much, right? Anyway, so this is a uh, forward. Moving on. I like, I love the different textures. Uh, you have the print, you have the pages, then you have this transparency. I love the context of books when they are uh, is different materials something i loved since uh, i used to collect uh, film art books actually and this was the aspect that, that appealed to me a whole lot more blacks by action city what you're going to see is a whole lot of artwork and also uh, reveals of toys that uh, i'll connect with uh, images that i've taken off and also as well it is literally on display at Black's Election City. Uh, I would not, uh, I, I realized I would not um, read too much of the text, i just show you and my impressions. Lah. So basically you have the Tan Tong Hong, the key, key folks from Action City that's uh, involved in the production aspect and also not just the production aspect, the, the, the connection to Leicester. Lovely. So there is a uh, dedication to Action City beyond just Leicester. And then we go into Leicester's um, history. Artist bio. I love the context of these foldables. Okay. Uh, just so folks know that are watching this right now, um, watch this. Uh, this is being filmed on my iPhone, as you've seen there, of uh, my on the landscape format. And because the phone is far away from me up there, I don't know if it's still in frame. Let me check for a moment. Okay, still in frame. <laughs> up there, I cannot read the comment section or uh, what you're type about. So I apologize in advance. In advance, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that I do not, uh, I'm unable to read your comments. So I'll continue with the flip through. Description of the artist, description of, uh, then we begin Jelly Low. I wrote in my forward, and it is something as well, um, previously in all uh, medias and press, that there wasn't necessarily a story attached to Jelly Low. But with this book and the advent of Lester's uh, solo show, the story of Jalilo, the history of Jalilo, the world of Jalilo is revealed for all to see at this point in time. So this book uh, essentially tells the story of Jalilo. Um, from all the description here and me speaking to, had a chance to speak to uh, Lester yesterday, Essentially, the genesis of Jelly Low is one, Lester loving jellyfish, and as well, it the underlying main story 
or rather the genesis of Jelly Low is because of not because of connected to bullying. So Jelly Low or rather jellyfish are like the smallest creatures, not smallest but creatures essentially representing uh, marine life being bullied by other larger animals. So the context of je uh, the jellyfish uh, being a bullet creature but them being able to band together to be stronger to go up against the bullies is the context of jelly low in that context lah. so jelly low is essentially um, infantry squadron based army build of jellyfishes who has armored themselves to be able to fight against their oppressors does it make sense? I'm, I probably am not articulating it as uh, wonderfully as Lester has and I hope to one day be able to maybe bring him on air and let him talk folks through. Coming back to here with essentially a lot of artwork and a lot of Jelly Low um, troopers and different units are revealed for the first time. Beyond the toy that we have seen, this is the squadron that essentially is like the the flying flying okay we will go to that again later flying troopers as opposed to what we'll see later is we'll see again later the one with the unicorn they are infantry units it's called the unicorn horn infantry units and these are the different uh, troopers as well that. Uh, I've not asked, and I think I will not ask as as well whether or not they will be produced as toys later on. Uh, to me, this is wonderful because with the new context of uh, what the story is about and what the, the units are about, you can literally build an army. It would make sense right now to build an army of Jelly Low because that is part of the context. So nobody can complain you buy too much, huh? Because you are building an army. So with an army of a jelly low together, you are stronger against your oppressors. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. The power of story that that builds the toy. Um, the genesis of, or, or rather the origins of jelly low. Um, I did not ask whether or not it is the impetus to have a toy first or design first, but I would say this is hand in hand. Medics, troopers, and not linger too much on this. Old guards, troopers. Uh, on display at the exhibition, the solo art show at Blacks, you have the existing releases, the archival uh, display, and you have brand new designs. I would say design, color treatments as well. Uh, I, it's, I will post on my blog pretty soon. But you can currently see them on my Instagram snaps that I took of the display, which I will show more of later on as well. Engineers. In the local context, uh, in the local uh, Singapore Armed Forces, that um, most male Singaporean males are conscripted to, uh, conscripted to serve, we will recognize the roles and uh, units. Lah. Bounty Hunters. The bounty hunters are former Jelly Low troopers. I told myself not to read. And I'll let you all have a chance to read or if I have a chance to get Lester uh, ever on this channel, we'll chat more about the figures. Nice. So far, we are looking at the Jelly Low contingency. Uh, and I cannot wait to find out about the, their enemies, people they are uh, uh, fighting against. We will see a little bit later on in the pages that uh, Lester described to me. Nice, blue hammer. This is the reveal of one of the prototypes that is on display right now at Plex. Uh, I'll put, I have posted pictures and I'll post more pictures of it. But the Jelly Low um, toy, toy line is expanding as we speak. Uh, so far we have, the two, we have the squadron and the trooper infantry and very soon we will go into larger figures like what is this one it's, it literally is the RT, artillery and these will be in vinyl so this is very cool so these are the color versions of the black and white 
or rather the unpainted sorry the unpainted versions currently on display at blacks so it's pretty pretty exciting though as you can see from here it's a very marine themed world and concept a uh, very marine in, in uh, marine as in nautical okay as you can see from hermit crabs from seahorses to jellyfish so this is the the theme that we are looking at and this is the other uh, figure there are two prototypes on display right now at blacks one of it is rubo as it says here rubo and the other is bobosa i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly uh, so you see 3d printed uh, uh, prototypes on display unpainted prototypes on display right now at uh, blacks so this is pretty pretty exciting again story with all art by Lester the rock and roll Lester nice this is one aspect which uh, Lester created specifically for this book it is a cinematic drawings as you can see here which serves like sort of a storyboard for of course I hope an animation to come of the story of Jello and their fight against their oppressors so you can see here I would, I would not describe too much uh, of what you see it might not be fair I hope to again uh, opportunity to drag Lester online to talk about this but this is the cinematic story of Jello I love the context all these are uh, digitally drawn illustrated by Lester uh, which, he did, which he also mentioned it was during the COVID period the pandemic that he he was able to uh, have the time and space to focus to create all this digitally and I'm loving personally I'm loving it that is a very darkened context with accented lights because that's essentially how the deep sea is yeah. very nice cinematic stories oppressors nice sea turtles there's no retreat so um folks who snag this book will be able to have a chance to find out the the cinematic story of Jalilo and their world nice very nice so what happens next Bobosa to the rescue we'll we'll come to this when we come to this yeah okay again more artwork this is again created by Lester there are currently three prints limited edition prints uh, on display at blacks and are available for sale three different um, editions as well one is limited to 10 one I think is 13 the other is 33 I'll post them on my Instagram first and also on my blog but um, at the very least we have artwork here as well and the life of Jelly Low or rather the world of Jelly Low is as multi-colored as well rather than, uh, than let's say a marine life darkened with no uh, no color and to me to me personally I've not asked less about it neither has he mentioned to me that's the beauty of it we see the life in 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 underwater darkened but if there's ever a light shun, shined on them, they are as colorful and as vibrant. You know, the colors of the rainbow like, like marine life as well. So I think that is a pretty cool aspect of uh, the creation as well. More pages. I love this art. This is also available as a sticker. Uh, if I have a chance, I'll show you later. No, I don't have it next to me now, but um, again, artwork. A lot of them also are available as canvas paintings at the show. More artwork. I will not linger on the artwork so you can uh, relish it if ever you get the book. Find a way to get the book. I, I'm not sure if they are making it available for online sales for international orders. I assume they would or might not have. Check out at Black the Black's space 
in, on Instagram to inquire. I'll find out and, and put a comment if that if that's what they do as well, and a link for folks to order as well. But folks in Singapore is able to order uh, order them, or purchase them in store at the Black's uh, Gallery. Wow. I'm, I'm amazed because that's a whole a lot of uh, artwork to show. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm quickly skimming through because I don't want to... I say I don't want to spoil it, but essentially I'm spoiling everything on the, on the, on the pages. Now. So, which is just as well because uh, we, we're not talking about uh, um, uh, holding back anything to a certain degree. I, I like this aspect of the behind the scenes of Lester and his art. A lot of times we see art for what it is in face value, but we do not see a lot of times artists creating their work. To me, it is as important. Nice, some behind the scenes of Jalilo the toy. I mean, one day I wish to collect the whole series of them uh, when I'm able to. But yeah, I can collect, uh, build my army. This is nice. The recent um, aspect of Jalilo re release available as porcelain plates with Super Mama. Very nice. Uh, teas, apparel. Okay, more behind the scenes. And this is uh, the squadron. You can see the squadron, and this is the the form of the squadron. The f the essentially the flying uh, squadron. And these are the editions of Jellylo that has been released so far. Yeah, build your army, man. Come on. Yeah. And there's a, f quite a few lot more. Not few, few. Quite a few more <laughs> on display at the Black's uh, Gallery right now of upcoming pieces. And the colors have, have gradually changed from singular flat palette to more of a fade in recent releases. And upcoming releases actually so it's pretty exciting let me see like this is one that is on display that it would be a great Halloween release but there was there wasn't a specific timeline indicator for this release but you can see the color sample on display I hope there is a yeah it doesn't show here uh, but it's shown on my I, I think it will be shown I'll talk about it when if I reach it these are the couple of uh, items on display and the gallery as well. One is with Yang. This is a wonderful one-off uh, octopus with Jalilo. Oja is a little girl with the heart of a lion. How oh, nice. Yeah, I had mistakenly put on my Instagram that Jalilo is fighting the octopus when instead the octopus, whose name is Oja, the little girl octopus, is supporting Jalilo. This is great, man. She secretly helps fight global warming while fending off the dangerous octopus gang and other predators. Rock and roll. You need to see this in person. The photos do not do justice. My photos taken off my handphone do not do justice. If you can see this in person, it's pretty rock and roll. Circle of Life. This is another upcycle project done with the props company where, it, where Lester painted the yeah, I can see in reverse this like a gas gas tank. Gas tank. It turned this into a lamp, one off lamp. So this is very cool. Hmm, it's not shown here. It is not shown here. I'll post it. It is posted on my Instagram. Go check it out. That there is a specific edition that is available for sale. Uh, that will be available when the event launches on September 16th, Saturday. Yeah, it's not shown here. It's a F22 version of the Jellylo Squadron exclusive to Blacks that has a fade that uh, is limited to only 100 pieces on sale. Blacks exclusive. Um, no, I've not asked them if they're going to put it online, 
and I would say it will be available at the uh, install first so grab it while you can man I don't imagine it staying for long because it features a wonderful fade uh, if I have the opportunity I would uh, probably hold it in hand to let you see and review it when I can maybe install when I can yeah. anyway page has come to an end uh, I love it that the, it's fitting or rather at the end of the book we are seeing sketches the preliminary sketches for the uh, Jenny Lo. nice versus having the sketches in the beginning of the book uh, it has them in the end yeah nice I love the quality that it's a thinner, thinner translucent page as well the sketch aspect of it very nice very nice Nice. Thank you, pages. Well done. Well done. Cool. Very cool.